Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. Friday. <laughs> oh, it's getting harder every day. Friday the 8th of December 2023. So thank you for all your comments about whether we go dateless next year, whether we just... I don't really know how I do it, so I'm welcoming any suggestions as to how it could be done, like structurally. Um, whether it's just like every day you do a reading and it just says timeless reading every day, I don't know. But you know sometimes, and I was talking about this the other day, like intuition is almost a physical thing. I've got a lot of allergies at the moment, which usually kind of sort of coincides with it. You know, I don't know how, and I don't really want to look into it because it's a bit of a sort of Alice in Wonderland thing, isn't it? Um, but I am attracted. I'm feeling very, very right about dropping the dates. I've been saying it for about three years, um, but I didn't feel it as much. And now I feel it more than I can say it. And that usually means I'm onto something and it's just a case of working out the details. So if you have any thoughts, very much welcomed because this is your channel. These are your dailies. And it would make me feel good to make them dateless because I could get over the whole like, you know, doing my maths face at the beginning of every date. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know anyway, any thoughts you have. Some of you have much more structural brains than I have. I certainly don't have a very structural brain, but I do like a structure when I see it and can follow it. So any of you inventors out there, let me know your thoughts. Okay, today, apart from noticing my trousers are covered in cat hair, so I'm going to change them. Um, oh God, it's one of those days. I'm just looking for the box so I can show you the box. I'm using the Ethereal Romance Tarot, another Hattie Thorn Tarot, which I'm very into at the moment. That's her details if you want to find her. She's also on Etsy. I'm not financially connected to her in any way, although she seems very lovely. Okay. Friday the 8th, we've got a solid moon in Libra. I've got a new drink today, which is good. Also, lovely mug. Henry, you're going to like this one. Um, do you recognise where this is? Let me know. Maybe only a couple of you will. I'm going to show you the whole scene. It's like a line drawing of a place. I try not to throw my tea all over the table. And then inside it says, this is my happy place. And I am having ginger cordial. How have I gone so far in my life without drinking ginger cordial? Hot ginger cordial. Mmm. Wowzers. It's from a company called Belvoir, which I found in the supermarket last night. In Waitrose. Of course it's in Waitrose because it's posh. Um, but it was on sale. It's three quid. And it hasn't got a sweetener in. Don't mind sugar. You know, I think a little bit of sugar's fine. But I'm not a fan of sweetener. So it's got no sweetener in, I don't think. Yeah, if they want to send me like a truckload of that, I'd be very, very up for it. There you go. Putting out my police at Belvoir. I think it's called Belvoir. We also do elderflower. I always find that elderflower drinks smell a little bit like cat wee to me. So I've never been able to get on with that. But ginger, yeah. Especially, apparently, ginger is supposed to be good for allergies. And because I think what's happening in the house is there's some sanding going on in the bathroom. I know. A window is being sanded and as soon as it happens, do any kind of work to the house, that's it. I'm gone. So, hmm, mysterious. Right. Oof. The Hierophant's back. Oof. Okay. It's no uh, secret that Mercury is on its way, kind of running backwards like this. That's my running backwards, kind of like, you remember the Matrix when a bullet came swing, like that. Running backwards is, is a kind of uglier version of that, really. And being me, I'd probably trip over something as well. So it'd be running backwards, tripping over, falling over, getting up. The overall energy card is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Now, I don't see this. Knight of Cups in reverse can be quite a difficult card. Um, it can be that you're waiting for someone to kind of make an offering of some sort 
and it's not forthcoming. And often you're not very happy that it's not forthcoming, of course. Um, for this, I don't really get that. I just get suppression of some kind. So to me, that just means it's kind of in the pipeline somewhere, whether this is a job offer you're waiting for, a friendly word from somebody, a text from a lover, whatever it is. It's kind of out there, but it's just not heading your way at the moment. And I don't think you're going to know why. And I don't think it would pay to follow the string to find out. I would just like ignore the string, keep on doing what you're doing, chop wood, draw water, and we'll see why that is in the minute. Ace of Swords in reverse, again, is confusion, but also a kind of lack of information. It's quite major because it's an ace. It cuts right through to the heart of what you need to know. So the lack of information or the confusion or whatever you want to call it is quite sort of central. It's quite important. So it'd be better not to waste your energy running around, kind of wearing yourself out, protesting, thinking, trying, seeking, all of the ings are a no. Okay. Are they adverbs? My grammar is terrible. My grammar isn't terrible. My knowledge of grammar is quite bad. All the ing words. Schwing. Schwing is an ing word. I inged and a schwing. Oh my God. Right. Yeah. Okay. All the effort, probably not worth it. Kind of live in the nucleus of a confusion. Imagine things just swirling around you. You will catch them when it's time. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, Sun in Virgo. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous energy. Earthy, it's an eight, which is industry, doing things. And it's a very good balance to this sort of head swim energy that we have around us, which is a very Mercury retrograde feeling. This feeling of, ooh, you know, and you're like, whoa. So this is anchoring yourself by doing earthly tasks feet on the ground, doing some plants, um, baking some cakes. We're always baking cakes. I'm about to bake some cakes after this. Just straightforward fairy cakes, which I'm going to eat. I don't even bother to ice them. Where we're going, we don't need icing. I just like do them and eat a couple while they're warm. Oh my God, there is nothing like a hot cake. Just like, shoom. So, eight of pentacles, doing tasks, doing your taxes, clearing out your drawers, baking a cake, doing some art, getting your work done, paying real attention to what's in front of you in a very present, short-term way. Forget about the bigger picture, okay? Sometimes, especially I do it too, if you are quite spiritually minded, you're always looking for the bigger picture. I don't think it's been formed yet properly, and if it has, there isn't a thread enough of information that you could make sense of it. So enjoy your time doing earthly pursuits while you wait for that. Then we have the Ten of Cups, which is gorgeous because it's Mars in Pisces and it's a feeling of affection, warmth, family. It's your tribe, it's who you belong to. Now, again, this is something you can just create. If it's missing in your life at the moment, create it in the smallest way. Create it by paying special attention to the washing up to an egg that you're boiling. I believe I'm talking about being mindful. Ugh. I know, but I'd rather not use the word. Okay, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, which is rather good. Because the Two of Swords is an everything's kind of waiting card. Things are just stood still. When it goes into reverse you at least know that something is happening. There is a trickle of energy heading down the hill. It's nowhere near where it needs to be, but it has started, so take comfort from that. And then we have our friend, the Hierophant, back up in the upright. Upright. We had the Hierophant in reverse the other day. We were talking about rebellion. Now it feels like, rather than rebellion, that the rules bend to you a little bit. You may have no knowledge of this. It doesn't matter at the moment in the short term. But nice to know that kind of out there in the mysterious macro, things are softening and bending a little to accommodate you. And that is nice. 
So if something hasn't walked in the way it should have done, or it hasn't even walked in at all, do not fret. Go bake a cake, go boil an egg, go wash some dishes. Nice, leave me a comment. Let me know any thoughts you have about the dateless tarot. Mm. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.